Hi Libra, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your, um, we're going to do your reading for you. We're going to do your uh, week ahead, which is the 29th of April through to the 5th of May. As you can see, the background is very different because I'm at my sister's for the weekend. It's Avengers weekend. We're going to go and see the movie in a little while. So uh, yeah, over, over here over the weekend and I'm recording from the closet room. Some of you guys might have seen this before. Especially she has all their clothes, but it's terrific lighting. So yeah, recording from here. For your reading, guys, we're using the uh, one of my newest decks, Deviant Moon Tarot. I really like that deck a lot. Some people see it as dark. I really think that the uh, the pictures are quite funny. I think they're really quite humorous. I really like them. So we're using one of the cards out of here to see what you need to focus on for the week, Libra. And then we're just going to use my Celtic Tarot, the miniature deck. Uh, I, I did use other decks uh, for other signs today, but. They were too bright. The brightness from the window really kind of just completely kind of washed out the pictures on the card. So this is a dark enough deck to use where you can see the cards properly. So having said that, let's uh, let's focus on what's going on with Libra. What does Libra need to focus on universe between the uh, between the 29th of April and the um, 29th of April and the 5th of May. What is it that Libra needs to be focusing on? What does Libra need to focus on? Show me. Uh, you need to focus on... Oh, my God. Now, that is really funny. Because these have been put in really randomly. And I did Taurus before. Now, Empress, I think, represents Taurus and also Libra. This showed up for Taurus. And now it's showing up for you, Libra. So, this is... It's really weird. Because this card is a Taurus or a Libra individual... And because it's ruled by uh, it rules Taurus and Libra as well as Venus. Very interesting that this should show up for Taurus and Libra. Now it's for you. Very interesting that is. But um, yeah, you need to focus on the Empress. Sometimes when we need to focus on the Empress, we need to focus on, you know, the good things that we've got. You know, what it, we got around us. Ruled by Venus, planet of love, uh, support, kindness, uh, valuables, that type of thing. So... When you get the um, uh, the Empress, this is all about growth and nurturing and kindness uh, with the Empress energy. It's also about being a mother. So this is all about being kind to your offspring, loving your offspring, nurturing your offspring, taking care of your offspring. Some of you guys focusing on your children, your offspring during the week, Libra. Some of you guys focusing on more on creative endeavours with the Empress energy. It is number three in the majors. Uh, number threes represent expansion, growth. They're like a triangle growing outwards. So maybe the need to focus on prosperity, abundance, tending your garden. So if there is creative ventures, creative ideas that you've got, maybe it's a good uh, idea to start nurturing and tending to those, working on those things with the Empress energy. Some of you guys, because the Empress is ruled also by Venus, as I've mentioned, which is planet of beauty, time to focus on your beauty and when I say that I don't mean in a vanity sense in the reverse for me the empress is quite vain in the upright she's about just making the best of herself so some of you guys really need to be focusing on you know your skin care for example um how you look you know but I don't mean in a vain sense I just mean in making the best of who you are sometimes though the empress can be about overeating and indulging a little bit too much so maybe you need to kind of pay a little bit of attention to if you're spending too much money on things that you don't need like frivolities uh if you're spending money on you know bad food rich food maybe there's a need to kind of draw back on that a little bit let's have a look at what's going on uh with you guys uh libra uh because the focus needs to be on the empress focus on your looks your beauty your skincare regime your bodies what you're eating uh, creativity if you're pregnant maybe pregnancy if you've got kids it's nurturing and looking after your children doesn't it have to be about children though it can also be um there's a need to focus on uh you know your loved ones your husband your wife you know your mom your dad your extended family she's just a nurturer so there is a need this week to focus on kindness and care and support and nurturing of others uh libra because in the past what we have is uh the justice energy could be something legal but also this is your sign again libra okay maybe some of you guys had to make a decision here with the libra card of justice uh, this is all about restoring balance so in the past could have been a legal situation but because this is your sign this is was your choice to make maybe you had a choice in the past libra with the justice energy maybe you had to weigh something up with the justice energy it's all about getting those scales 
exactly right okay so harmonizing those scales and some of you guys probably did have a decision to make with the justice energy but i think justice and strength this is a good combination i feel to get together because justice is all about righting a wrong and the strength card is that this has brought a great deal of strength so some of you guys maybe there was a need in the past to be strong enough to make a decision the strength card is all about being strong and this is all about me being uh, making a decision. Some of you guys, it might be that you had to be strong enough to make a decision. Some of you guys, it might be with the justice energy that something happened here. You overcame an obstacle. Strength is also about overcoming obstacles. So I feel with the justice card in the past for some of you guys, it may be with the justice card, the scales finally were balanced. We faced, or some of you guys faced the ending of a situation. Something concluded itself in which it may be with the G strength energy you overcame some form of an obstacle some form of a difficulty with the strength energy uh, showing up here some of you guys overcame your fears as well so finally with the justice energy something concluded itself in which you overcame a fear with the justice energy an obstacle with the justice energy and you've got three majors and three very incredible ones the tower as well um the strength energy is all about refraining as well. If you look at this person here, this little boy, he's holding a dog. If he lets go of the dog, the dog is going to go off and it's going to fight Tower. Can you see how Tower is spewing? I think some of you guys have the strength to hold back from an individual here. This could have been a Scorpio individual with the Tower energy. Okay, or uh, what's the other sign that this is ruled by? I think, is it Gemini? can't quite remember i know the tower is um can't remember i know definitely the tower is scorpio but it, there's another sign that's attributed to the tower as well it might be gemini i can't quite remember but yeah i think that you face someone here i think that you had to make a decision being that this is you Lee, but you had to make a decision a very big decision because it's a major card with the justice energy to hold back strength energy from an individual the tower now this person being the tower this person would have been very argumentative they'd have been very destructive this person didn't care this person spewed their bile at you and it took all of your might with that strength energy showing their libra to hold back from really gunning for this individual so some of you guys you had to make a decision to really hold back with that strength card for going uh, from going for an individual he was really kind of, this person might have been kind of sniping at you for a very, very, very long time, Libra. And you really had to kind of muster up all of your might and all of your strength not to go in for the kill with this individual. Now, you're thinking going forward. And I think this was a pretty big thing because you've got these major cards showing up here. You've really got those. And it might also be that you were strength and you had to hold back maybe a family member or a friend from really going in on this individual. So it might be that also that you had to, had to act in a mediatory uh, fashion. Because if you look at the, the justice energy, usually justice is all about mediation as well. Being that it's your sign, Libra, some of you guys had to act as the mediator. So in the past, some of you guys might have had to act as a mediator between yourself between yourself and a person well not between yourself as a, and a person but you had to act as the mediator in that you are strength the child is strength having to hold back could be a friend or a family member from going for this individual here teller it seems to me you had to be devil's advocate as far as i'm concerned so i can see so i get the impression uh, libra that for some of you guys it wasn't just about holding back your own rage because these are both about rage but when it's in the reverse the rage overcomes the individual. In the upright, it's all about the self-control. So some of you guys really had to make a decision to act in a very self-controlled way to hold back from going for whoever this tower person is. Some of you guys had to literally act as a mediator, Libra, in terms of holding someone back. Maybe this is somebody very dear from you, for you, uh, from going for somebody who's obviously quite erratic, quite abusive and quite difficult tower people are very abusive and quite difficult and they don't care who they hurt and i think it took all your strength to hold yourself back or somebody else back from really kind of matching their anger going forward uh libra your thought process on this will be uh the, well the three of swords so your thought process with the three of swords is getting everything out in the open if you think about the three of swords as being heart surgery swords going through a heart what the sword is trying to do is trying to release pressure building up in the heart 
especially if you've got a blocked artery or something like that. So your thought will be to release the pressure, I think, with the Three of Swords. And also, I think Three of Swords is ruled by you as well. You're all over this reading, Libra. Three of Swords is all about making a decision as well. Remember, you're the sign of diplomacy as well. So you're going to be diplomatic, which is why you're probably acting as a mediator as well between one person and another. I see some of you guys actually acting as a mediator. And your thought will be Three of Swords energy about releasing the pressure with the Three of Swords energy showing here uh, in this card. Uh, Four of Coins, though, shows up here. This is resistance. Four of Coins energy, holding back, protecting oneself. Some of you guys, it might be to protect yourself from getting hurt with the Three of Swords energy showing here. So some of you guys, it might be that your thought process is, well, to protect yourself from getting hurt. Let's have a look. Two cards flipped out together here. Uh, ten of Coins, Energy and Temperance. Okay, so this is all about reconciling a family issue, I think, showing here. I think it's to protect any more hurt from occurring because you've got this three of swords and the four of coins four of coins is all about protecting oneself from getting hurt so the thought process is how do we protect this and also the three of swords is all about kind of like getting really really upset because remember it's the swords cutting through the heart it's unblocking the pressure building up so protecting yourself from things really getting out of hand with that three of swords this is all about some of you guys saying look we've got to try and reconcile the situation temperance the ten of coins reconcile family members probably this could be a family situation going here or it could be maybe your work family any type of family but i think that your thought process will be well in order to stop kind of any more you know problems from occurring anything from getting really out of hand going to need to think about how i'm going to reconcile these family members ten of coins is just your family members whether it's your friends family or whether it's your family family or your work family temperance is all about trying to reconcile so again temperance and the justice energy this is all about mediation again and you guys are really i think acting as mediators in a situation and you might think well how can i mediate the situation how can i resolve the situation temperance is also about the resolution of a difficult situation so some of you guys really wanting to mediate to heal a situation possibly within work or a family situation or a friendship because what you want to do is you want to avert or block or stop this three of swords energy from getting out of hand uh, what is the universe saying to you librans concerning the situation uh six of wands in the reverse no five of wands in the reverse sorry healing five of wands in the reverse backing down is the five of wands in the upright, five of wands is everybody is clashing together. Nobody's backing down. But reverse, it's saying healing. Healing the situation. How do we heal with the five of wands reverse? Well, we back down. We say, okay, fair enough. It might be that some of you, the universe is saying, you're going to have to just leave the situation. Don't get involved in the clash. Especially if you're the mediator and you've got a, people around you who are clashing and you're trying to be the mediator, Libra. It's saying just leave the situation with the five of wands in the reverse because you can't win. Nobody wins, okay? Uh, interesting, Ace of Wands in the reverse shows up here. So Ace of Wands in the reverse is no start. Do not start. Leave the situation and don't start. Ace of Wands in the reverse showing there. Uh, three of Cups in the upright. Um, the Three of Cups in the upright is all about negotiation. Um, it's all about an agreement. Don't get involved in, in this third party situation in the group. Okay, I get the impression it's telling you to leave the group. Leave the situation. Okay, Ace of Wands in the reverse is not to start. It's not to invest. Okay, it's not to... Um, yeah, it's not to invest. It's not to start with the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Five of Wands in the reverse is leave the group. Five of Wands in the reverse, I think the universe is saying leave the situation. Don't get involved in the situation and don't start trying to negotiate or mediate with the Three of Cups energy showing here. Okay, I think it's telling you to leave the situation because there's nothing that you can do about it. Okay, which is why you need to focus on the Empress energy. All right, you're, well, it's not telling you to focus, it's saying that your focus for the week will be on this. So your focus for the week will be on how you kind of try and nurture, um, you try and show support and kindness for others with the, with the Empress energy showing here. That'll be what your focus is for the week with the Empress. It could be a person as well, she's not showing reverse. But I think that this is because it's ruled by Libra as well, the Empress, that your focus is on just showing love showing support showing kindness to those that matter to you during the week because in the past you acted as a mediator with the justice energy you made a decision here to hold back or to hold somebody back from a fight with another individual could have been a scorpio person a 
think this might be Gemini. It's ruled by. I can't quite remember what else the tower is ruled by. But it's certainly Scorpio. This is somebody with a vile temper and a vile mouth. So you guys made a decision to hold yourself back with the strength energy from someone with a very vile mouth. Or you made a decision to act as a mediator with the temperance energy to hold a friend back with the strength energy from going from for someone who's got a vile mouth and somebody with a bad temper. This is somebody who's been spewing vile for a while for some of you Librans. The universe, uh, thinking about it though for some of you Librans, your thought is how do I stop the situation from getting out of hand? Three of Swords energy. How do I stop with the Four of Swords energy? You know, this heartbreak, this pain. You know, this problem, these arguments, things from getting out of hand with the Three of Swords energy. It might also be that some of you guys say, well, I need to make a decision. Do I protect myself with the Four of Coins energy? Because Four of Coins is self-serving. So I just do I just think about myself with this Four of Coins as well energy? Or do I try and heal the situation within the family? You being temperance here, okay? Do I try and heal the situation within the family and reconcile these members the universe is saying well actually you should probably with the four of coins if you have a decision to make three of swords ruled by i think libra as well if you have a decision to make whether you should protect yourself or kind of try and get in there and heal and mediate act as a mediator with the temperance energy in this family situation with the ten of coins then the universe is probably saying well no libra actually you need to take care of yourself protect yourself four of coins energy showing here all right in other words leave the group there's nothing that you can do four of coin four sorry five of wands reverse there's nothing that you can do libra leave them to their squabbles five of wands energy don't get involved okay stop trying to get people together ace of wands reverses stop stop trying to get people to work together three of cups is people working together and stop trying to get people to work together Okay, I think this is a week really for focusing on yourself because some of you guys are really trying to kind of get a group of people together or get people to make up or get people to stop squabbling. And I think the universe is saying, Libra, actually, don't bother because you're not going to be able to do that with these people. If they've got a fight, especially if you're the mediator on this, Libra, it's probably your powers of mediation are very limited in this situation because they're going to squabble no matter what. So it's probably a week for protecting yourself against all of this bullshit just leaving people to their own devices and letting them sort it out for themselves let's have a quick look at the other five cards so what the other five card reading is saying to you uh libra so universe spirit uh in five more cards anything else coming in for libra during the week in five more cards anything else coming in for libra during the week in five cards um page of wands in the reverse uh lack of messages page of wands reverse okay so there might be that there's a lack of messages or a message isn't coming through with a page of wands reverse about an agreement two of cups energy so it might be that you're not hearing back about an agreement here page of wands in the reverse and the two of cups could also be that somebody's showing a lack of interest in a relationship page of wands reverse is lack of interest uh, and this is relationship two of cups so it's either that you're not hearing a message back about an agreement with the page of wands reverse and the two of cups or somebody might be showing a lack of interest in an agreement partnership or relationship uh, anything else you can see for libra um four of wands this is all about the home so it might be that you're not getting a message back it could be an agreement on a home could be a house sale or renting a property you might not hear a message back about renting a property or an agreement to buy a home or sell a home might be that a message isn't coming through it looks like some of you guys are waiting for a message about the buying or selling of a home or renting of a home an agreement signing an agreement it looks like you might not hear a message about that for some of you guys uh the page of pentacles though so it could be some news about money small amount of money a small check could be a job as well with that page of pentacles energy showing up there uh yeah and the queen of coins energy showing here resources finances is the queen of coins savings okay so you might be seeing a, a small amount of money uh coming through queen of coins energy uh adding to one's resources uh queen of coins energy showing up here um also might be a message coming through could be somebody who works in a bank or a financial individual as well showing up here or a message about a job from a queen of coins energy showing here uh, queen of coins can also work in real estate as well also you might be having to pay a small amount of money 
page of coins is paying an instalment to a queen of coins energy showing here somebody who works in finances or works in property so some of you guys might be having to pay a small instalment it could be something to do with a property showing there however some of you guys it might be you're not hearing you haven't got a message or you're still waiting on a message about an agreement on a home four of wands is the home two of cups is the agreement and nine of page of wands reverse means no message so you may not get a message back or you might still be waiting on a message about completing as well or uh, an agreement signing an agreement or some form of an agreement on a property uh, and I'm seeing perhaps having to pay a small installment or something like that it could be for somebody's services with the Queen of Coins or it might be you're receiving a small amount of money from an individual what else can we see here for oh god three just came out there together uh, the other thing uh, that we can see coming in uh, Libra, all reversals though, interesting. Seven of Wands reverse, surrendering, giving up, having to give in. Uh, star in the reverse. Some of you guys don't want to have to give in to a situation. All right. Some of you guys don't have much faith in having to give in. If you give in to something, you don't see much faith uh, doing that. Some of you guys really don't want to have to give in to a situation and let your guard down with the nine of wands in the reverse showing here. So nine of wands reverse is letting your guard down or giving up. Uh, no hope is the star in the reverse and the surrender card is seven of wands in the reverse. Okay. Seven of wands reverse is also about being overwhelmed. Um, some of you guys feeling a, an overwhelming sense of hopelessness at having to give something up. So this is feeling an overwhelming sense Nine, seven of Wands reverse of hopelessness, star in the reverse about having to give up on something with the Nine of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so some of you guys feeling this overwhelming sense of uh, hopelessness at having to give up, give up on a situation. Give me the final two cards, please. However, King of Coins energy shows up here, so there could be an improvement in finances showing up here. Uh, this could also be a bank manager or it could be an estate agent with the King of Coins uh, in the upright showing there uh strength energy here so uh king of coins has the upper hand it might be uh somebody around you uh libra has the upper hand strength can also be somebody who's got the upper hand so or it could be strong finances a couple of things i can see here i think that some of you guys it might also be that you're feeling an overwhelming sense of hopelessness at having to give up a situation here it might be because a person a king of coins uh, could be somebody to do with a property, has the upper hand with the strength energy showing here. Uh, could also be saying that even though some of you guys are feeling an overwhelming sense of hopelessness, star reverse, at having to give up on a situation, your finances, King of Coins energy, will still be quite strong with the strength energy. But also possibly lack of messaging concerning a deal, um, a promise, a pledge, a commitment, um, an agreement over a home. Uh, however, some of you guys needing to pay an instalment of money to a bank or to a financial advisor or something like that. OK, all right. That's your reading Libra for the 29th to the 5th of April 2019. If you would like any further uh, personal readings, then you can go to my website. All the details are in the comments section below. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe and have a really great day. Take care. Bye bye.